Good morning uh, on this lovely Saturday morning in Western Australia. <coughs> I'm Bruce, welcome to my shop. Uh, and this is a continuation of um, making an adapter to uh, fit a geometrical head to the tailstock. Um, and as I said before, what I'm going to be doing is machining through to the minor bore, the smaller bore that I need in this area, in the deep, and then the larger bore um, after that. I'll finish that larger bore off to full uh, diameter. The smaller bore will be a little bit less and I'll be uh, reaming it out. Now at this point in time, it, it's handy, I think, to uh, discuss a little bit about boring bars. Uh, they do come a, a bar similar to this one. And you can see the length of it. But if you hold the bar, if, if we connect the bar out here, then what we've got is we've, over, we've overstressed the, what we call the slenderness ratio, which works for in, in construction, structural steel, all those sort of things. Uh, and as you, as you grip further out and you pull that out uh, to get deeper, you're going to get vibration. And there's no avoiding that. Um, and so all that needs to be taken into account. I won't go into depth, but take it into account when you're doing deep boring. Now, there's a number of ways of overcoming that, um, that problem of the vibration. Uh, one of them is not to be in the, in the natural resonance of the, of the tool. Because if you're running at a speed and that, and that resonates at its natural resonation, uh, resonance, it can either break or it, it, gets, it can pick up a wobble all of its own. It doesn't need, even need to touch anything. Um, so the ways of overcoming that uh, are varied, and as I say, many, but the sum that I've, ad I've adopted is for this small bar, for instance, uh, this little bar here, um, where I've uh, got an Acme, um, I had to cut an Acme thread very deep and uh, so I've ground that off a bit but for one job but this is a second job was very deep I needed actually to go in that depth so there was that what well, I was over the slenderness ratio uh, with that and um, so what I did was I drilled a hole I drilled a hole through it and I loaded it up with with old carbide um, uh, milling heads I, I cut them off with a diamond um, diamond cutter, and I stacked them inside here. So I've given this extra weight, and uh, that's that Allen bolt has been tightened, uh, grub screw has been tightened up, and that solved that problem. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now the other way, I had another big job uh, with a much larger bore, and the way I overcome the slenderness ratio on that. Uh, that very large one was by making a strong back. This was held out here, all the way out. So I welded and it, uh, a, a piece of piece of flat bar uh, to it, and uh, that allowed me then to hold it right out the outside here and uh, avoid that vibration. So that's another option for um, <coughs> for, for deep boring. And that's so we'll leave that at that for the moment and uh, we'll come back on another movie and continue on with this uh, boring work.